Okay, now, little Autumn, the little one that's been bouncing around all week in the studio where we, we taped uh, this segment is ill and they couldn't come. So Daddy stayed home with them. Their mommy's here, Cheryl's down there. So I asked Daddy Stowell to come. Married uh, uh, my uh, oldest granddaughter, daughter of Nazar and Ellen Shaheen uh, from uh, Israel. And uh, she, uh, she gave birth to Sarah, and Sarah and Jordan produced uh, Leah and James. So I've got one more story to tell, okay? This is all good. very quick. I went to the country uh, of Armenia, the Soviet Socialist Republic of Armenia. Now, that may not mean much to you. But when I got there, we re-equipped a hospital there after the big earthquake, a children's hospital. And there were lots of children in the hospital. And Dr. Rosa, who is the head of the hospital, she took me into this one room about nine months. I was there a couple of times at the beginning and again, again about nine months later. And she took me into this one room and there was a 12-year-old girl lying in a bed. And Dr. Rosa said, this girl has not spoken for nine months. And the earthquake she saw, her mommy and daddy killed by the falling stones and her little brother, his head was caught between two stones. And he was just gonna hang there, he died. And she didn't say one word, Aaliyah, for about, well, a long, long time. Anyhow, this, I, grandpa really cried a lot. Now, great grandpa cried a lot that time. But, uh, so I went over beside her and I knelt down beside this little girl. I didn't know her name yet, but Dr. Rosa said she studied English for two or three years. And uh, so, uh, I, uh, I said to her, took her hand, and I, like this, kind of took her hand like this, give me your hand. I said, I said, do you believe in God? I know you do, but she went like that. She shook her head, no, I don't believe in God. Never said a word. And I said, well, I do. Could I pray and ask God to make you all better? And guess what she did? She went like this. She went like that. And so I prayed, I said, oh, dear God, would you make this precious girl all better? Kiss her all better, God. Heal the wounds of her heart. Seeing her mommy and daddy and her brother who died in the earthquake. And so I get up and I give her a kiss. And I was heading out the door with Dr. Rosa. And, and oh, Dr. Rosa said, that bed that you're lying in, this is the man that helped people of Canada give the money to buy that bed that you're lying in. And uh, so, uh, so as I was going out the door, guess what I heard? James, guess what I heard? This little girl who hadn't said one word for nine months, I heard this voice saying, my name is Laura. And I turned around and I went over and I hugged her and I kissed her. And she, she sat up in the bed and put her arms out and she hugged me and she kissed me. And she began to talk a little more. And I walked out of that room just thinking, I don't think I'll ever be touched so deeply in my heart again as it was on that particular day. So I wanted you to know that the love of Jesus may take you everywhere in your lifetime and you'll see Jesus do some wonderful things. And in his name we pray and God answers prayer. Do you believe that? Great, okay, Aaliyah believes it. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. 
And, and uh, be careful driving around Ontario. Be careful because uh, Jordan is a police officer. <laughs> and he's tough. I mean, if he caught me speeding, I, I, I think he'd probably give me a ticket. I know Jordan loves his, <laughs> loves his grandpa-in-law there, okay? Now, uh, okay, oh, we're going right down here now. All right, you guys can, uh, you, you guys can stand up. Earl and Kathy and your family stand up. Come on, all the, all the Reynold Maines family. Okay. Now, this couple behind you right here, David Lee, oh, you went and put powder on it. <laughs> he got his forehead all bashed up today because he's at the Toronto Argonauts professional football uh, club, okay? Uh, uh, you, were, you were at the training camp today. Yes. And, and they went and covered it up. I, was, I wanted to show <laughs> that, that, that when people go to see a football game, I mean, the, the stars really, really have to pay for it, you know? You work for it, yeah. yeah, have to work for it. That's true. And Elizabeth, I've got a shot of their wedding. They just were married. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it, Reynold? Well, let me see. Are you proud? Yeah. Hey, George there, there Baptist I am, Church. Having the privilege of walking my daughter down the aisle. And, and Kathy's there, of course. And uh, we're just so, uh, so thrilled and blessed to have given our daughter away to such an excellent young man, of David, David Lee. So her name now is Elizabeth Lee, and we are just thrilled. And uh, I, I got to uh, yeah, I got to warn you, David. While she was a scholarship studio uh, student, the French award for Ontario when, in high school, uh, the University of Western Ontario, the the only thing she talked about, uh, not the only thing, but the thing she talked about most was getting married and having babies. So be careful. <laughs> and, All right. And of course, we have Rochelle and David Peter. Yeah. Okay. As well. And Kathy. You just came back from Africa. I did. Uh, the whole month of March, I was in Uganda and Kenya, and it was amazing. And Reynolds, you just came back from Israel. You spent a whole month uh, taking pictures in accordance with the reading, the two-year reading program that I'm going to do on my blog, uh, a professional photographer, pictures of, uh, uh, from Israel. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the blog, uh, following along with that and also participating with uh, images. Okay. Now, you, you, can, you can sit down now. Thank you very much. A hand for the Reynolds and Kathy Maines family. And then we have uh, Nazar and Ellen. Come on, stand up. And uh, your kids are in the next row. David, Nathaniel, uh, Sarah, Rebecca. Okay, come on, stand up, gang. And uh, so I, uh, I really don't know where to start and stop, but all over the world in at least six uh, major Arabic language satellite channels, about 40 times a week, there are productions for Light for All Nations. And, and Ellen, you're in the office there just helping to make it happen with your, uh, your crew. And uh, Ellen, let me just say something. This is my last chance here in, on television. I want to say something about this girl. I've talked about you a lot through the years, Nazar. I'm going to talk about her. Uh, when she was a little wee girl, three, four, five, she'd go to the altar in church. And she'd be weeping. And I'd go up and say, Ellen, why are you crying? She would say, people all over the world. All over the world, people need Jesus. Somehow she got that through. <laughs> Bless you, Nazar. Yes, Bless you. Come on, Bruce and Elaine, stand up. Now, uh, Bruce and Elaine are quite a team. Elaine is quite an administrator. Uh, uh, and and she was, uh, I think she was 18, and she was singing on Huntley Street, a lady up in... Uh, uh, a lady up in uh, Thunder Bay. I often visited shut-ins during my Thank You Canada tour. People who were shut-in. I was kneeling beside her chair, one of those chairs you push the button and it stands you up, you know. And, and she, said, uh, she said, you know the reason that I came to know Jesus was your daughter Elaine, as an 18-year-old, that she would stand so firmly for her faith. She said, I gave my life to Christ. My husband, my kids, my son is an Anglican clergyman here in, in Thunder Bay. Just then my cell phone rang. It was Elaine. And I handed it to the lady and I said to the lady, will you tell Elaine what you just told me? Thank you. Thank you, darling. We Bru cry too much together. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> uh, oh, the children. Yeah, the Stacy uh, children. Come on. Cheryl and Rebecca and, and, uh, and uh, Elena and her husband, who's a, an architectural student. 
and Elena's working on her PhD, that's putting hubby through. <laughs> and, and Christopher, who is who's in demand all over the world as a videographer. And uh, uh, Chris, uh, thanks for being such a pearl. Bless your heart.